So right here we're going to start working with this uh, QR code index file. Uh, we, let's look at the things we may need. We may need to know the name. We don't need to know the ID. There's nothing with doing with the user ID. So let's go there on inside our resources, resources views, and we're looking for QR codes and we're looking for index. Remember that index imports another page which is table. So if we click on table here, we'll have access to table. So the first thing we're removing is the header. So if you understand HTML, you know that this is the header and this is the body. So we're removing the user ID. We don't need it. User ID, period. Now that is sorted, if we refresh, the user ID column will be gone. Refresh. Oh good, it's gone now. So we're looking at, we don't need the callback URL. Do we need it? We don't need it. It will exist. Now, don't, don't misunderstand me. Uh, we're just removing it from this index page. But what we want is when the person now clicks on any of them, they can now see the full details in the view page. That's why we're removing them. So we're removing the product URL and the callback URL. Uh, somebody has to click to view it as full details. So product URL, we don't need a callback. The two of them have to go. And here we are, product and callback URL. And we can refresh. And it's making sense now. See, the more we're, we're removing some, uh, some controls have appeared here. So um, amount, that's the cost. So we're going to add have to add dollar signs or something here. QR code path, we don't need it. It has to go. QR code path. So um, we're trying to condense that table to make it small so that everything, only the important aspects can fit in one page. So if we know the website, the product name, we don't need the company name. So just use your discretion and find what works for you and um, remove it. So generally, at the end of the day, you're basically just adjusting the table. Now it makes sense. There is the website and there's the product name. And then there's the, the amount, the status, all right? Status makes sense. See, if I want to delete any of them, I can just simply click on any like this. This pop-up is already there. It's asking, are you sure you want to delete? If you click OK, it will delete. If not, it won't. All right, so I, need, I think we need to add some money sign here. So let's say, where are we? Amount. We have to add a dollar sign. I will refresh. So it makes sense now. Now this, uh, guys, one doesn't mean anything. We need to change it to active. You understand? So where is it the status here so we're going to write a simple code now this code is on a blade file so you, you will not write direct php codes there's a way you write php inside blade and this is an example to write we want to write an if statement normally in php you do uh, php and you do if uh, no you don't do it in blade in blade you just put the at sign you put if then if this is equal to one then uh, we can display this otherwise we can do else at else we can display uh, then we do end if so at if it's else we can display um inactive inactive so if it is this we can display active So we have active active but just for fun we may want to use icons to make it look better instead of just using words uh, one way to do that is to go to font awesome remember that this platform imports font awesome so go to fontawesome.com slash icons so when you're there we're looking for a good icon so we can do good you search you basically search if you type it it will search uh, no we're looking for um, Mac. Mm, nope. We're looking for check. Yeah, this is what this is what we're looking for. Oh, it just disappeared, really. Mm, 
you are seeing it. So you can choose any of them, just type check. You can choose any of them. I think I, sh I should go with check square. If you click on it once, so there we are. We copy this. We copy this. Then uh, we can come here and say if it is active, we can put this. So let's go and check. We'll come here, we'll refresh. Keep your eye here. Um, probably because the font of some that is being used here is not the same that was that is working on this if you ever encounter that problem just remove the s here and leave it as fa by the time you refresh you see that it's fa but um this black doesn't make sense we need to change it to green so using normal bootstrap class we can do text green it will change it to green see it's now green so but we want to put the cancel one that has to do with red so we'll go back to font awesome go all the way back to the home page so there we are we can work on um cancel cancel mm, i think this makes sense but i was using, looking for the x i was looking for the x icon um, something like this I think this works for me times cycle FA times so we can use this come to our platform and then paste it here so we now know that we might have a show with this and um, times I'm gonna call it cycle text red all right so um i wish there was a way we could test it more easily if we refresh we have to go edit one of these and turn it off so edit i want to change the status on one of that status say oops uh we still need to fix that issue laravel does that sometimes it has logged me out if you waste time after some time, Laravel will log you out. Please submit. And of course, there is a problem. And that problem is that status cannot be null. When we were creating this, we didn't in the, in the, let me get back to the, so here in the migrations, we didn't um, create something. This is QR codes. We didn't put any default value for status. Look at any status. There should have been a default value. So we do default zero. Or let's say default one. By default, it should be active. So um, if somebody doesn't feel anything there, it should be active by default. And then we need to make it null level. Null level. Null level means that it can afford to be empty. So we need to go. Now we've done this. Normally you should run um, migration again on your on your command prompt. But once you run it, it will wipe out everything we have. We've created, including the um, roles and everything we created. So uh, we don't want to do that. We want to go to the database and manually implement this again. So go to the database and under QR codes. Click on structure and um, go to status. Click on change. And what we want to do at the moment is um, we want to put a default value. Click on default as defined. It should be active by default. And then um, what else do we need to change? So it should be null level. So on the null, we'll click this or click save. So um, what we basically did was adjust the migration file and come here and adjust the database just as a way to avoid um, having to run migration again. So now if we refresh now, it should go perfectly. Worked perfectly, see? So this one is red because uh, it's not uh, active. 
so status active or this one is so this makes sense now for me i don't know about you but this makes perfect sense all right so uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, let, let's see in the next video